Hello my fellow hunters, in this video I want to show you uh, absolute underrated switch axe and I also have to say I personally uh, also recognized the potential when you remember my data mining stream before um, Sunbreak released I said this weapon has a lot of potential but later I dropped my opinion because I said it only has white sharpness, yeah, and if it can't compete with purple, it's not useful. But um, yesterday, there is a, is a guy that does similar videos than me. He also has a theory crafting channel, and the name is uh, Dreamings Unity. Dreaming Sentide, I didn't know the explanation to the German language, but he does very decent uh, theory crafting, especially for lawns and also for long swords. But I just found this channel because I have looked for lawns builds, because I'm currently playing lawns, and that's the reason why I'm don't dropping so much Switch X videos currently. And um, for his calculation, before he starts using any builds or before he starts with anything um, he put in the naked weapon values and I've done the same here you can see here weapon stats only without any augmentations so personally I prefer the augmentation because you can see for example if a slot increase is from level 1 to level 2 there is a huge slot increase but I did it uh, gonna explain it to you after the intro Ich habe gerade einen interessanten Fund gemacht. Und zwar werde ich den gleich mal zeigen. Also, ich muss erstmal kurz mich hier durchknärmen. Und zwar hat hier ein. Kann ich einfach random einfach mal so in einen Stuhl da drauf gestellt auf diesen Ast, also. Hier ist witzig. Yes, yeah, so um, I just dropped in in the in the calculator. I disabled everything, complete everything, and then just typed in um, for the augmentation. I choose not unlocked. And I just used raw element affinity, and that's it. Nothing more. Um, no charms, nothing else, no augmentation, just the pure weapon. And then, yes, I just calculated the mixed DPS, so the DPS, which is the average of aerial switch X and grounded switch X. So maybe this is not the best way to calculate it, but I think it's a very good uh, thing to figure out whether a weapon has potential or not. The thing is, especially for switch X, Using the naked weapon stats is very very bad because you have file multipliers and if you have purple or white sharpness there is a huge much other scaling or for example if you have an elemental file and use a maxed out elemental attack you get 20% and also that 20% gets multiplied with the 45% elemental buff from the sword meter. Uh, sorry, sword mode, and that's the way why, to be honest, it's not really useful, but I just made it for fun. And yes, I just want to say it's better for Switch X to only calculate the weapon's potential with common skills, trust level and common skills, and then look, uh, yes, first go for the main skills like attack boost, crit boost, or elemental exploit, and then go further if you have all the important thing and you can you start using crit eye and then you can see how good a weapon is because there are also slots but the thing is yes what i've done with the elemental weapons for example yes volcanic switch x or so um, which just needs three levels to get handicraft in this scenario i've done the following thing um one slot one level two slot is like about 1.5 percent DPS. So the naked uh, mixed DPS of this weapon is one th of the volcanic switch is 1370 
and I multiplied it with 0 0.97 because um, the weapon itself has a level 3 slot. So you can um, negate one level of handicraft and then can disable the slots from the calculation. And then I just multiplied it with 0 0.97 because you need two slots to negate uh, sharpness management for purple sharpness. And I divided all the stuff with purple sharpness. So that's maybe not complete 100% exactly, but it's good to find out the weapon's potential. And now something similar, like a weapon that needs handicraft but doesn't have any good slots. I think it is... Let's give me one second, please. Currently found out that every weapon... Ah, let's gonna put the Lagombi switch X, which is very bad. The most like the Lagombi switch X, but you can see here it is really very at the, t at the bottom of the list. And yes, most want to use the Lagombi X, but it's really, really uh, it's not really that good in comparison to other uh, switch Xs. And here I show you how I calculated it. You need uh, three levels for Handicraft Purple, and you have a level one level three slot. The one slot doesn't really increase your DPS because you have a lot of bunch of them. You have one level 3 slot that negates one level of handicraft. So you have like zero skills on the weapon, so zero uh, decos on the weapon. So you need two levels of handicraft and that's also 0 0.97. Uh, I'm gonna check out if I have some other multipliers. Yes, for the power files, I don't wanna speak about them. But yes, for example, the Lightning Shredder is also a Switch X. It is a, it is a Thunder Switch X that used in some gameplays where they're using Face Switch Boost. So I think it's also a good Switch X. Um, I think it may be similar to the one I am currently want to talk about. But this way, Lightning Shredder is very good, but if it has 10 more element or 15 more element, it is, it, it's a crazy switch X, but yes, currently it has a lack of element. So the thing is, this weapon has white sharpness, so it's absolutely impossible that this weapon reach purple sharpness. Then it also has a level 3 slot, which is about 1.5% DPS. I grabbed that DPS from the skill uh, priority augment and just uh, grabbing the skills in the middle and you can see here, I have about 1.5% DPS. Um, okay, yeah, so I calculated the naked DPS for this weapon and multiplied it with 1.5. The reason is you can't reach, uh, you can't hit the purple sharpness, and I just added that 1.5% uh, DPS that you can get on the level 3 slot or level 2 slot. I just said it's the same because currently there are not really that good level 3 skills and Coalescence was nice for level 3, now it's level 2. So yes, they are very well weighed in it. And I just now I'm gonna filter this stuff. We are the potential. You can see here by far the highest potential of all weapons has the um, Don't Break or See Merge. I don't know the correct pronunciation, but this weapon is from the Agnosum. You can read it here, and in comparison to all the other weapons, it is completely crazy. It is completely crazy. And you can see here the calculation. It is crazy because I added the potential of the decos. You can see here the Ola Shana has snaked 1388 because it doesn't really have any slots. And yeah, you also didn't need handicraft, so it's very easy to calculate. And now you have to take that with a little bit of grain of salt. But the thing is, you can see here, it has a potential of 1374, which is less than the Aura's Ajna Nijna. Like you can see here, it has 20 more raw. And now I gonna. Um, at a 3% multiplier and the reason is we have also on this weapon we have a huge amount of raw which is absolutely insane we have an element which is elemental fire tier so this is absolutely correct element and also on top of that two level two slots and useful level two slot for anti-species skills 
switches which we always use and yes the thing is we have that two level two slots which are absolute crazy especially for the nintendo switch players i think this is a good weapon and yes because they can't get the god rolls and armor or quorumirins augmentirins i don't know what you call them translation and yes we have two level two slots and they added the three percent dbs multiplier so without that multiplier, it is like same level as uh, higher building, or a little bit less. But yes, we have that level two slots, and they are very efficient. Um, you can see here on the higher billion, the rather switch eggs, it's a little bit less uh, because we didn't have any spots. Also, when the higher billion, the raw is worse, and the element is worse. But we have that purple sharpness. But you can see here at the end of the day. I go now filter all these weapons. We are fire, and then you can see here the potential. So you can see here, yes, Dawn Breaker, Seymour, very high potential. Then after that, Hyrubillion and Volcanic Switch. So please don't use these values and say, ah, this weapon is good or that is bad. It 99% depends on how your skills are built around this weapon. Because one reason is, if you have Elemental Attack 5, uh, AVLs go straight to top, and the profiles didn't really benefit of Elemental Attack plus 5. Same energy with Elemental Exploit, where only the Elemental Fials benefits of it. And in seven, uh, se several raw uh, cases, also the profiles, if they have like the Agnosum, a bunch of element. So the thing is, uh, now I'm gonna close all that stuff. Uh, go close that, close that, close that, close that. And then I wanna show you the builds I've used. Uh, let's first of all, all the builds are made with armor, which isn't all. Uh, which didn't, which doesn't have the cure augment. So maybe if you can get some good rolls on the cure augment, a lot of stuff changes. Yeah, but you can see here currently Espinas is the worst fire switch X. I have to say that we have that the fire switch axes are very very strong. We have too much fire monsters currently in the game, and I think there's a lack of water axes or what else. Um, yes, currently way too much fire weapons and fire monsters. So Espinas is currently not really good looking because yes <laughs> element is very bad and also didn't test useful slots and other stuff. Yes but the other ones are really good. So we're gonna start with the volcanic switch and we just press on the X button here. Oh let's do another thing. We have a PDF here, so we can watch the PDF. Yes. This is my build for the Magmodron Switch X. Uh, area damage 20, 2411, grounded 1226, mixed paste uh, 2000 uh, LM. 2011 with yeah it is a blood ride coalescence build and yes purple sharpness augmentation is uh, go for handicraft and element and on this build we have attack boost 7 fire attack 5 weakness exploit 3 uh, weakness, uh, yes critical boost 1 critical element 1 Critic, um, elemental exploit one, chain crude one, coalescence level two. So the thing is for this weapon, if you are a Nintendo Switch user and currently have some problems with augmenting the armor, uh, it is very hard to trigger in Teostra's blessing and elemental exploit at the same time. So in my opinion, I prefer to use uh, the elemental exploit over the Astra blessing because yes it's too hard to figure in all that stuff because you also need two levels of handicraft to reach the purple sharpness you also need some crit boost you also need weakness exploit all the other stuff and you can't really fit that in it's impossible I gonna prove that you 
Uh, this is the volcanic switch build with a level 3 slot weapon. So we're using attack boost, fire attack 5, bloodlust, coalescence, new energy, elemental exploit, power prolonger, weakness exploit, handicraft, protective polish, rapid move, Theo blessing, and if you search, you didn't find any results, even with a god charm. And if you disable the Astra blessing, it will found some results. Uh, yes, and that is the reason why on the Volcanic Switch, uh, if you play Bloodlust Coalescence, which is the best DPS combination you can use, you can't squeeze in uh, Tiosa Pressing, otherwise you have to remove the Bloodlust Blood Right Coalescence combination, which I didn't really recommend. Just go for Elemental Exploit. Yes, for Hydro Billion we also have a PDF here with an optimized set. The best build has 1952 dps. Um, you can also click here on the X to see the build. Attack boost 7, fire attack 5, power prolonger 3, protective polish 3. Ah, and now don't forget the power prolonger 2 we also need on the volcanic switch X. The chain grid, grid boost, resentment, bloodlust, evade X, sender, coalescence, uh, all that other stuff. And now for the Dawnbreaker Seamorg, we have a build that can... Oh, uh, one second, I forgot to squeeze an Evade Extender and Wirebug Whisper level 1. Let's give me a second, I'm gonna do that all again. So it is the Agnosom, made 340 war. 5-5 five, five element and 20% affinity because we have Bloodlust. Power Bronger level 3, it's a power fire. And then we have um, the following skills. Wayback for 1, Evade Extender 1, Attack Boost 7, Wayback Attack 5, Bloodlust, Chain Crit 2 with Coalescence 2. So we're gonna add Coalescence level 2. And also chain crit level 2. Yes. Then we remove the critical eye. Yes. Uh, critical boost 3. Elemental exploit is on top. It's already on the armor. So elemental exploit 1 with critical element 1. I wanna also add that. <laughs> you know, it does stone additional damage. Yes, and that's it. White sharpness. Don't forget white sharpness. Uh, sharpness drops down to white. And we have 2008. Uh, ah, we have to remove the Teostra blessing, I think. Yes. Now it drops down from 2008 to... Mm, 1988. Uh, 1988, okay. 1988. So this is the big difference now. It is still better than the High Rebellion. And I just gonna upload this now to my yes to my builds and you can have a look at it so let's export this document as pdf upload it okay where where is the document this one is a document and now I'm gonna make it shareable so you have access to the document and I'm gonna put it in here as PDF version. The thing is, uh, for example, for lawns, the best lawns is Agnosum and so I also thought myself Agnosum weapons must be very good. You can see here Volcanic Switch and after Volcanic Switch Dawnbreaker Seamorg and uh, it doesn't matter 
the augments doesn't matter. So you can see for attack element it is 1988 and for more element it is 19. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So it was the correct one. So it's better to augment for more attack instead of more element. You can see here 6 more DPS. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, you can see here uh, that the Dawnbreaker Seymour will f I'm gonna remove that TO combination. Uh, that the Dawnbreaker Seymour is better uh, than the Hyrubillion. And the funny thing is, on the Dawnbreaker Seymour, you have Bloodless Coalescence without TO, and on the Hyrubillion, we have Purple Sharpness, Bloodless Coalescence, and also the TR Stra skill. You can see it here for the High Rebellion build. For the uh, Rathalos, you can see here, uh, Power Fire, and... No element exploit, but instead two levels of Teos Trust Blessing. Because of the trigger rate. Yes, that's it. Um, I didn't know whether I should make a build or not, or a speedrun or not, because I didn't really know whether it's worth it. Um, but maybe I'm making. I try to make a match. I try to find a matchup with a monster that has shitty fire head zones and spicy raw head zones. And for that case, I think the Arcanus zones, which is very good. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.